Hello, my name is Dorit Hemmerling. I'm a PhD student in environmental engineering at the University of Michigan. My advisor is Dr. Anna Mikulak. My background is environmental engineering and statistics. I have master's degrees in both fields. I've worked in industry for a few years and then I decided to go back to get my PhD to do something I'm really passionate about. That's applying and hopefully further developing statistical tools to work with environmental data sets. I'm especially interested in space-time processes and large data sets. The project I'm currently working on is space-time modeling of CO2. I work with satellite CO2 data and the goal of this project is to create global maps of CO2. So what you see here is the data from the first day. On the next image you see the data from three days, five days and so on. The trade-off here is if you use more data you get a better model but the process might have moved in the meantime and you're merging data from different states of the process. So what I research is what is the ideal amount of time to use in the models we create. Our estimates have uncertainties associated with them, which allows us to judge whether the process model-based outputs are reasonably consistent with the satellite measurement data. Another interesting aspect of our project is that we can provide guidelines for the design of future gap satellites. We can answer questions such as how critical is noise, what should the path of the satellite look like, is it better to cover a larger area in a shorter time period or to get more detailed measurements over a longer time frame. The main goal of our project is to fill the gaps in the CO2 data and we can do that by using space-time modeling of CO2 to create full global maps.